Ross Elliott, I play Manic. How is that supposed to work? Manic is kind of like the glue that sort of holds everyone together. At first when he arrives, he's kind of like a... Um, like in writing, I suppose, he's like the straight character. So, you know, everybody, you've got like the sort of comic relief, you've got the idiot, you've got the sort of intelligent problem solver. He's kind of just like that sort of straight character, I guess. Oh, fine, sorry, jeez, you're wound tight. He's quite a strong character. Uh, he knows, he knows what he wants, and he goes for it. But also, he doesn't put up with people's shit. I thought you guys were leaving on the raft. We were, but someone lodged a raft in the forest overnight. There's a lot of favorite scenes, to be honest, because I mean I edit the damn thing, so it's really hard for me to sort of pick a favorite scene. But if I had to think of one, it'd probably be the chemistry between uh, Manic and Marco. I'm up here through the vents. Hello. The wall behind the ladder was built not long ago, and it's still quite weak. You can make your way out through the wall. Hey, are you discussing an escape plan with the rats? I want in! Marco, run up the ladder. The wall is weak. bam a lama ding dong Uh, yeah, any moment where sort of Manic is like, you know, especially like in the desert, too, like when he's going to play a Rona, and he's just like, wait, there's no GPS out here, there's nothing. He sort of breaks that wall, so probably it's, for me, the hardest thing to see. There's a bridge, we're saved. Just because we see a bridge does not mean we're saved. Can you give us food and water? Provide a good internet connection? Advice on dating? No, it's a f***ing bridge! Honestly, it's a draw between Marco and Marle. I could pick Mayor Peabody, but I think anybody that interacts with Marco is instant comedy winner. I don't think we've ever been able to team up anybody yet with Marco that uh, hasn't jived well. And Marco's got this sort of, I don't give a shit, I am dumb, and I realise that, but you're dumber than me, sort of mentality. Hey Marlette! Don't steal anything that I want to steal! Marco, that makes no sense. Don't get comfortable. When we get back, we're sorting all this out. Whatever. I think just him generally as a character, he can swear and say anything and get away with it. Whereas if any other character would say that, everyone would be like, why would he say that? That's so out of character. With Marco, it doesn't matter. Like, for God's sake, he's yelling at a book in a boat. If you really look at this situation, the day planner won in a battle of wits with you. Actually... Two day planners won. You're right, Archie. What a fool I've been. I must. What the f? Get back here, you organized boat sailing shit stain. I want to say thank you to absolutely everyone from the beginning to right now. Uh, you guys supporting us, commenting, subscribing, telling people about the show sending me awesome emails, fan art, uh, suggestions, anything and everyone. It's you guys that actually have kept us going, otherwise we wouldn't be up to season three. It's the feedback, it's you telling us that we're doing a good job. And you guys are probably the best fans that anybody could ever ask for. Um, and I hope you guys stick around for season four, season five. How far are we gonna go? It's it could be up to me, but it's also up to you guys what you want to see. So, I want to say thank you guys.